So I'll be performing Rebecca's monologue from the play Immaculate by Oliver Lanzi. Hi. <laughs> Look, there's something I have to say. And I probably should have told you earlier, but I didn't know if it was going anywhere, but now I think it is, I thought it was, but now you're pregnant, so... I mean, I probably shouldn't tell you anyway, because stress is bad for the baby. I mean, not that you're keeping it, right? God, you're huge. Are those my boots? Michael and I are together. We're a couple. Like, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, I didn't plan it. I was out and saw Michael and said, hello, and we got talking, and, and it came out that he'd always quite fancied me, but, which I thought was weird because he'd never said it before, but then I said I quite fancied him too. And I think that was why I was always mad at him, and I always just talked to Ed about him, and that's why Ed never wanted to come out. It was enforcing him because he thought I fancied Michael, which I didn't. But it turns out I did because I fancy him now. Anyway, look. We weren't going to do anything about it because you two just broken up. But then we said, well, maybe we should just have a kiss. You know, like, while well, we're both single. And then a kiss carried on and things and things. And we, look, we ended up having sex, which I'm not proud of. But it was good. But it was bad because Connor broke and I had to get the morning after pop, which was fucking awful. Because I thought I was going to have a baby. And you know. I fucking hate babies. Because that dream I have with all the babies that my mum does face and shit. Please, and cry. And I can't stop them. And also, the plumbing feel really ill. And that was the day that we were supposed to go to Silverburn to get some shoes to go with that brown skirt you got from Primark. And I scared I couldn't come because I felt sick. And I felt really guilty about it. And I cried. And I called Michael. And he made me feel good about it, actually, you know. It made me feel better. But, and then, look, we decided that we weren't going to see each other again, but I was crying on the phone, so he came over, and he stayed tonight again. I mean, we, we didn't, we didn't have sex. We just cuddled, and then it all went from there. But look, now you tell me that you're pregnant, and you say that you haven't had sex with anyone since Michael was, and he's like, he must be the father, but... You don't want to tell me because I made such a fuss about what a fucker he wants when he dumped you, which means that I'm going to lose my best friend and my boyfriend. I mean, not that I call him my boyfriend, but technically he is. It'll be, it'll be loveless and friendless and I all done alone with thread veins and, and bladder weakness and, and a house full of kids.